Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take the derivative of the hyperbolic cotangent of x. We're going to use the same technique as we did for the hyperbolic tangent. Notice that the hyperbolic cotangent is equal to the hyperbolic cosine over the hyperbolic sine. So basically it just switches everything around. Again, it's a quotient, so we're going to use the quotient rule. We'll take the denominator, e to the x minus e to the minus x, and multiply the times the derivative of the numerator, which is equal to e to the x. And when we take the derivative of e to the minus x, we get a minus sign, which turns this into a minus minus e to the minus x. Minus the numerator, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the x. And this will turn this into a positive, so plus e to the minus x, all divided by the denominator squared, which is e to the x minus e to the minus x quantity squared. So now we have to multiply out everything in the numerator and see what we can eliminate. So this becomes equal to e to the 2x and multiply this together, so that's minus e to the 0. Multiply these two together, that's minus e to the 0. Multiply those two together, we get plus e to the minus 2x. The minus the product of all of these, which is e to the 2x plus e to the 0 plus e to the 0 and plus e to the minus 2x. And the whole thing still divided by the denominator, which is e to the x minus e to the minus x quantity squared. So let's see what we can eliminate. Notice we have e to the 2x minus e to the 2x, so these cancel. And here we have e to the minus 2x minus an e to the minus 2x, so those two cancel. And we're left with, this becomes a negative 1 and a negative 1, and this sign makes this also a negative 1, negative 1, so that's a negative 4 divided by e to the x minus e to the minus x quantity squared which can be written as follows. This is equal to minus 1 times 2 over e to the x minus e to the minus x times 2 over e to the x minus e to the minus x. And notice that this is the inverse of the hyperbolic sign. So is this the inverse of the hyperbolic sign? So this becomes the inverse of the hyperbolic sign squared. And of course, the inverse of the hyperbolic sign is the cosecant. And then we have the negative here, so this becomes a minus cosecant, well, the hyperbolic cosecant square of x, which is equal to the derivative of the hyperbolic cotangent of x. So when we take the derivative of the hyperbolic tangent of x, we get the positive secant square of x. When we take the derivative of the hyperbolic cotangent of x, we get the negative hyperbolic cosecant square of x. And that's how it's done.